A new Wordle puzzle is online. Click on the link to play. Listening to the following video may give you clues. Please like and share the videos. Depp v. Heard. At the trial of the actress Amber Heard and actor Johnny Depp, the jury heard about her need for conflict, tendency to hound him during arguments, and even her physician's comments about their relationship. In a cross-examination, Dr. Curry said it was not her job to diagnose Depp's personality disorder, but instead, based on 12 hours of in-person meetings with the actress in December 2021. During those meetings, Dr. Curry found that Heard was attention-seeking and self-conscious. Amber Heard's need for conflict. The lawsuit between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard centers on whether Heard initiated a fight with the actor, resulting in a severed fingertip. The fight was captured on video and depositions from friends and neighbors show that both actors began the argument with insults and quickly escalated into a circular argument with no way out. The resulting argument has drawn a lot of public interest, but the truth is far more complicated than that. In the lawsuit, Herd's lawyer Jed Benjamin Rottenborn argued that Depp was trying to turn the case into a soap opera. But in his court opinion, Heard was exercising her First Amendment right to free speech. She was speaking about the issue of domestic violence in an op-ed for the Washington Post. As a result, the actress' need for conflict was legitimate if defamation lawsuit was filed in Virginia, despite the fact that neither party lies in Virginia. The op-ed was printed in a post plant in Springfield, Virginia. However, Virginia had no anti-SLAPP law when Depp filed the suit. This meant that the lawsuit was allowed. The state eventually passed an anti-SLAPP law, and the case is expected to go to trial. The two actors met while shooting the The Rum Diary movie. While they were in their early 20s, the relationship deteriorated. Depp filed for divorce in 2016, and Heard was awarded a restraining order in 2016. Amber Heard was accused of physical abuse by Depp and obtained a restraining order against him. Her lawyer said she was drunk and fought back. The upcoming trial between Heard and Depp is expected to last six weeks. It will feature lurid details of their relationship and accusations of abuse by both sides. Heard is expected to repeat her claim of abuse, and Depp will likely assert that Heard fabricated her victim's story to gain financial benefits. Despite the fact that the allegations against Depp are not based on facts, it is likely to sour the relationship and hurt Depp's career. In the upcoming Depp v. Heard trial, the alleged abuser has the burden of proof. In this case, the alleged abuser must prove that the slander was true, and the British judge ruled that the accusations could be proven on a civil standard. The appeal, however, has yet to be heard. However, the need for conflict case is a fascinating one, with many potential witnesses to be called upon in the case. The case between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard sparked public controversy. The lawsuit alleges that Depp abused Heard and that she suffered domestic violence. While Depp has denied these claims, Heard has counterclaimed and sued for as much as million. If the allegations are true, Depp's lawyers will argue in court. This trial could cost the actor his career and reputation, and they are likely to lose their movie roles. Her tendency to hound him during arguments. The court hearing in the case of Depp v. Heard has been dominated by a single issue, the actress's use of pain pills. In the opinion piece, she portrayed herself as a public figure, representing victims of domestic abuse. Mr. Depp argues that the article is defamatory. Herod's lawyer, Camille Vasquez, told the jury that the actress had been the dresser throughout the relationship. However, the actress's lawyers claimed that the abuse she suffered was emotional and not physical. According to Curry, Borderline personality disorder is common among women who commit acts of violence against their partners. Although Depp argues that Heard hit him in the stomach, Heard's legal team argued that the actor was not the aggressor in the altercation. Further, the actor's attorneys have claimed that Curry's testimony is not credible because she had dinner with Heard before the legal team hired her off. Legal team of Johnny Depp has hired a clinical psychologist named Shannon Curry to testify on the case. The psychologist diagnosed Heard with both borderline and histrionic personality disorder. Ultimately, he said that the two were two sides of the same coin. The psychologist hired by Johnny Depp to testify in the case said that Amber Heard suffers from a personality disorder.
In the defamation lawsuit against his ex-wife, Amber Heard claims that Depp subjected her to domestic abuse. In response, Depp is countersuing with a $100 million defamation lawsuit. The judge ruled in favor of the actress on Monday, the 25th of April. The trial is in its third week. New details about the relationship, questions and answers, and explosive surprises continue to emerge. Dr. Shannon Curry, the judge's psychologist, testified Tuesday that Heard suffered from histrionic and borderline behavior during the marriage. After all, borderline personality disorder is a known risk factor for violence towards a partner. It is no wonder that a judge found Deb guilty in this case. The court heard witnesses' recollections of the couple's arguments and observed their relationship dynamics. During the trial, each side sought to establish the probability of its version of events. One witness, Tara Roberts, who managed Depp's Bahamasvilla, testified that the couple had an argument and that Depp tried to pull Amber back into their house. The two had children together. Her doctor's criticism of Depp. Amber Heard has been on the receiving end of many criticisms from medical professionals regarding her marriage to Johnny Depp. But the latest controversy is proving to be even more difficult. Her doctor, doctor. David Kipper, has denied that he witnessed any inappropriate or abusive behavior by Depp or Heard. In addition, details of the lawsuit confirm that Depp has been treating Heard for more than six years. In the same lawsuit, the doctor has also been critical of Depp's behavior towards Herder of Beverly Hills physician. David Kipper is the most recent person to criticize Depp's behavior. In August 2014, Depp stayed with Heard and his physician while detoxifying from alcohol and drugs. Depp and Heard were accompanied by several members of her staff. The physician's testimony is not entirely convincing, but it's still a start. But the resulting accusations are still causing Depp to suffer from severe remorse and to question his treatment. Heard filed a restraining order against Depp after an altercation with Heard. In response, Depp claimed that Amber Heard had been the one who provoked the violence. But her doctor testified that Depp had no knowledge of the incident and blamed Heard, saying that she was the one who accidentally made contact during the fight. She also wrote an op-ed in the Washington Post, Defending the Violence Against Women Act, drawing from her own experiences as a survivor of sexual assault and domestic abuse. Heard's testimony was further fueled by new witness testimony. Sherd's former personal assistant, Kate James, told the jury that Heard never endured any physical abuse from Depp. She described Depp as a Southern gentleman and a very dramatic person. Moreover, she said that she was not paid well by Depp and that she was often forced to work for him. However, she did tell Roberts about a text message Depp sent to Heard after the couple split. After the hearing, the attorneys of Heard questioned the validity of Curry's testimony. They claimed that Curry was biased towards Depp because she met with the lawyers of the actor prior to the hearing. She was also asked to answer questions related to her relationship with Depp and Heard, and Curry's comments were deemed invalid. In addition, the actress was asked about her recent experience at Depp's Bahamas Island House. The doctors of the two actors who play the villains in the movie Pirates of the Caribbean franchise testified at the trial. They testified that Depp had cut his finger with a knife during filming of the fifth installment. Although the doctor had different stories about the injury, they both claimed that the actor accidentally cut his finger with a knife.